The megalodon is one of the largest predators that has ever lived, and it has captured people's imaginations for centuries. Its teeth were valued by pre-Columbian cultures for their large size and serrated blades. The ancient Greeks and Romans believed that the teeth were petrified human tongues that fell from the heavens. And some believe that they still roam the deep oceans today. So let's dive into the story of Ark's resident shark, the Megalodon. Before we get started, if you're enjoying this series, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. And if you'd like to chat more about dinos and ancient creatures, make sure to join my Discord, the link is down below. The Megalodon is an extinct species of giant mackerel shark that lived approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. Initially, they were thought to be a member of the Lamnidae family and a close relative of the modern day great white shark, but it has been reclassified to the Otodontidae family which diverged from the great white sharks during the early Cretaceous. Ark's version of the Megalodon sits within the Lamnidae family like the original classification and has the name Carcharodon Ultramegalodon. But today we're going to talk about the real Megalodon, Otodos Megalodon. Regarded as one of the largest and most powerful predators to have ever lived, the Megalodon is only known from its fossilised teeth and vertebrae. Their skeletons were mostly comprised of cartilage and not bone, and this has resulted in relatively few preserved skeletal structures in the fossil record. This means that its appearance and maximum size are uncertain. Their fossils have been found for thousands of years. The pre-Columbian cultures of the Americas prized their teeth for their large size and serrated blades, often modifying them into projectile points and knives. They were also used for jewellery, ceremonial purposes and for trade. The earliest written account of Megalodon teeth was by Pliny the Elder in 73 CE. Estimates of their size range from 14 to 20 metres in length, with females weighing between 27 and 60 tonnes, and males weighing between 12 and 34 tonnes. It is generally thought that female Megalodons would have been considerably larger than the males. As no complete Megalodon fossil has ever been found, these figures are based on tooth size, and one thing we know for certain is that their teeth were very large. In fact, its name means big tooth. These teeth were up to 18 centimetres long and were thick and robust with serrated edges, designed to grab prey and break bones. Their jaw would have likely been 2.7 to 3.4 metres wide, large enough to swallow two adult people side by side. Within this massive jaw, they would have had 276 teeth. Research suggests that their bite force could have been between 108,500 and 182,200 newtons. By comparison, the creature with the strongest known bite force today is the saltwater crocodile, and it has a bite force of 16,460 newtons. Based on its size estimates and using studies linking shark size to swim speed, it is estimated that the megalodon would have swum at around 11 miles per hour, which is a similar speed to the modern-day fin whale. As for what they looked like, opinions differ on whether the megalodon would have resembled a stockier version of the great white shark, the basking shark or the sand tiger shark. Their fossils have been discovered all over the world, including Europe, Africa, the Americas and Australia. They lived in a wide range of tropical and subtropical marine environments, from shallow coastal waters and swampy coastal lagoons to offshore deep water. They appear to have had a transient lifestyle, moving between coastal and oceanic waters. Modern day sharks are generally opportunistic feeders, but Megalodon's great size, high speed swimming capability and powerful jaw made it an apex predator of its time. It would have been capable of consuming a broad spectrum of creatures. Fossil evidence, such as this whale vertebra that has been bitten in half by a Megalodon, show that they preyed on dolphins, small whales, cetitheres, squalodontids, sperm whales, bowhead whales, and rorquals, and I never want to pronounce that sentence ever again. In addition to this, they also targeted seals and sea turtles. Many whale bones have been found with deep gashes most likely made by their teeth, and some excavations have revealed megalodon teeth lying close to the chewed remains of whales. It is thought that the megalodon was so impactful on its environment that it is directly related to the emergence and diversification of whale species at that time. In addition to this, the fossil record of other contemporary sharks rarely overlaps with areas where megalodons have been found, 
suggesting that their competitors avoided megalodon waters as much as possible. About 35 million years ago, the Earth began to cool, and this would ultimately lead to the glaciation of the poles and the lowering of sea levels. Alongside this, geological events that impacted on ocean currents and precipitation contributed to the cooling of the oceans. During this time, Megalodon spent about 20 million years dominating the oceans, until a combination of multiple environmental and ecological factors, including climate change, collapse of prey populations and additional predatory competition, contributed to its decline and extinction about 3.6 million years ago. Scientists think that up to a third of all large marine animals became extinct at this time. Some people believe that Megalodon still exists today, and a fictional documentary on the Discovery Channel certainly contributed to this thought process. But as a tropical and subtropical ocean dweller, it definitely would have been noticed by now if it did. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, and if you made it this far, make sure to comment Morella Tops below. I'll see you in the arc. Take care.